afternoon, everyone. It's Wednesday. I hope everybody's having a blessed holiday weekend coming up. I know I am. Um, I got into my new home and uh, I still have this place till April, so we'll be shooting from this area still because I don't want anybody knowing my private life uh, where I live now. I have a real life now and I'm happy about it. Um, I wanted to show you another vegetable soup that I do. And this is for my lunch and stuff that I use for a couple weeks. And I'm sure everybody will enjoy it. Okay. And this is my book. It's doing very well. This is what it looked like at 310. Down 140. Now I have lost altogether 170 pounds. I'm a medium and shirt and pants and stuff. And uh, size 8 pants. And some of my jeans are getting too big. So I've lost more weight um, and stuff. And people... I have a personal life and I've been enjoying my life this year. I've had a great summer. I've got a great personal life, uh, you know, a great new home and I'm happy. Okay, I have a right. So that's why you don't see me on a lot and I got some nice things coming up in the works in my modeling career and stuff that are happening and I'm all excited, you know. But I will be on explain, you know, I got back into modeling um, six years ago. People, if you're new here, you'll find that I almost died. And, I started working out, eating healthy, put myself number one. That's how I lost the weight. And we're going to do another soup today with different, a little bit different ingredients, but still vegetable soup. We've got tomato, onion, mushroom, celery, cabbage, spinach, potatoes, parsley, mint, sweet peppers, and carrots, and avocado. Okay. And uh, it's taken me a long time to get the health that I need, okay? Uh, nothing's easy you have to really want it and in the pan I have three cups of noodles that I boiled and a homemade container broth okay and stuff so yeah it's been a unique experience for me and we got fresh garlic in there too when I first started it was very hard it was very very hard you know uh, wasn't sure if I was gonna make it or not you know it was a very hard journey for me, and I did it alone. Um, people have, I mean, you've heard all the bashing about me and stuff. And I let people say what they want to say today, people, because life's short. And I have a great life now, and I'm very happy. That's what counts, see? And I'm happy about it. Wanted to uh, where is to cut the onion or whatever on this one? So we use the onion as a vegetable. It's been a hard journey. Um, now I get called sometimes. I get yelled at for being lazy. Like today, my legs were hurting, but the last couple of weeks we did things a little differently. I was hurting today, and I was told to suck it up. That's true, people. But I do hurt some days. Uh, when I, you know, I've been doing. Like in 15, 20 minutes, 100 some deadlifts in the last couple of weeks. Uh, things have changed a lot. And believe me, yesterday I almost knocked myself out because I got really going fast. So, and stuff, you know, so it's unique. Mushrooms. And this is just a great soup. Uh, I like this soup. Uh, One of my favorites, especially with the seasonings. Now, you, you really you like the seasonings that we're going to use. We got cabbage. You know, the cabbage I really like. I just wanted another cabbage soup, and I thought, you know, I'm going to be gone home all the time now, and I had figured I'd come over here and uh, do a show because it's the only time you'll see me on there. I've had a unique life and I enjoy it. It's hard to believe summer's over. You know, it's like, wow. And this is how I usually do it. Like when I have vegetables and I don't really know what to do and then I have protein and my protein I'll even make, I'll either do walleye next week or uh, spinach, something like that. Or spinach, um, tuna fish. Spinach burgers is what I meant. Something like that. So. And I 
have six cups of spinach because I love my spinach. Get my celery in here. It's a super easy soup. I, I'm not doing anything elaborate, you know. It's just something quick and easy. And it's enough for 26 cups. Calorie count, I'll have to recalc because I added a couple vegetables. So. And if people want to get the weight off, you can. It's about putting yourself number one and applying yourself. If you think it's going to be an easy journey, it's not. Um, I've had to incorporate my personal life, having a boyfriend now, um, with my weight. And I still make sure I get my workouts in. I've done very well. I gain no weight, you know, I've been able to maintain. And that's the whole key, is to maintain. Now the hard part comes in is to maintain. That's where the problem comes in. Because maintaining is probably the hardest that you'll ever have to do. And spinach, it doesn't really matter how you cut it because it cooks down to nothing. It's a good pro pro uh, thing of protein and iron. That's why I like it. been a unique experience for me but I've been, it's been a great experience that I've had to endure and journey um, it's just been a wonderful year for me um, finally getting myself together personally and professionally you know um, my modeling's starting to go I'm all happy about that and things are going good for me sometimes you got to break away from the negativity or the people that pull you down but I've done. Tears. My weight journey has been one that I've documented for many years now. It's taken me almost six years to get all the weight off. But it gets easier as the weight comes off. It's hard when you first start. That's where the issue comes in. And this one here is a lot easier to make. Than I had all these vegetables and I didn't want them to go bad. So guess what? I'll use them. Got some avocado in here too. I'm just gonna chop it with this uh, uh, mint and parsley to chop it quick. And right. Using the vegetables that I use, uh, it helps the immune system, and we're getting into fall now, so now we're going to use stuff to make our immune system stay high. Because you want it to stay healthy. You want to stay healthy, okay? Because now the winter comes. That's where the things come in. really get the weight off. It's just a matter of applying yourself, you know, realizing, hey, look, I want to do this. Once you realize you want to do it, it's super easy. It's just the workouts get intense. That's the catcher. And you'll get a 
lot of jealousy and animosity from people because they like putting people down, you know, and they don't want you to succeed. But you want to succeed because that's where you get the best. That's the best part is when you succeed. I do count the calories, carbs, and proteins even when I'm home. Um, I eat what, how I eat here. I eat at home. Um, I do cheat once in a while, get a pizza, but all the time. And you know, I do, but not all the time. Not lately. Like you see, this is a lot quicker. It's just easier soup, and I thought, oh, I'll show you. greatest achievement that I have is realizing that I got to live realizing I beat the odds when I got sick you know from being too heavy to me that is the most enduring thing and the most awesome thing I could have done um it was hard for me don't get me wrong there's times I want to give up you know there's times I don't want to work out but I have to get my ass to the gym and I will stay home. Couldn't do that. This is a great lunch soup, especially for in the fall. It keeps the immune system up with the vegetables, with your vitamins. And That's why I'm doing it. My workouts are a lot more intense now. Um, and it's okay with me because I'm happy with my life. I finally got a life and I finally can enjoy life. You know, if you think when you first start, it's easy. No. But then the hardest part is to maintain. Once you can learn how to maintain, then you can have a good life. And that's what I'm finding out. You know, I can have a good life now and I'm happy about that. water to it so I do is add water and we're gonna make our, make our own I use a, a lot of different seasonings and you'll find that once you use a lot of different seasonings it's, it's, it gives it a better flavor okay you want to keep the flavor of the the um, freshness of the vegetable and that's what you do and I just add water to mix it up. And I do have a filter on my water. I'm in my sink. It's even the one at my house. I know too.
here. Super easy. So, you're gonna use a teaspoon of each. Season salt. Sea salt. The iodized. You're going to use some ground clove. Teaspoon. That's all you're gonna use. Thyme. Teaspoon. Everything's a teaspoon to start. But the thyme and rosemary and marjoram I do not use. Okay. Pepper. Caraway. Poppy seed. Garlic powder. Basil. The only thing I usually end up adding more of is usually like season, the seasoned salt and the pepper, one bay leaf. Onion powder. Okay, and we need a tablespoon of lemon juice and two tablespoons of Worcestershire. Sure, By eating healthy, it, it does help because I keep a good immune system. Um, two tablespoons more sure, and it helps me to overcome anything that I have. You know, I eat healthy. I'm able to do a lot more. Um, I'm just able to get around. You know, that's the main thing right there is just to get around. Because before I had such issues of getting around that, yeah, you know, I couldn't do it. like here and we let it cook. I'll be back with the calorie count and stuff later. And that's the thing. I like building my immune system up, having my immune system be healthy at all times so that I'm over able to overcome anything that I might endure. And it works. Mm. that has a really good taste and it's not even cooking yet so i'm going to be back a little later god bless everybody and remember 
this. You can get the weight off and you can look as gorgeous as Elvira. I'm the queen. I'm in your dreams. I'm every man's desire and I'm gorgeous. And I know that. But I worked hard for this and I did it for myself. See? So, God bless everybody and I'll see you soon.